Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. We are doing a cons of Tarkir draft here on the internet. I'll be your host, Jimmy Tarkir. Oh, we got to turn these sound effects off. I reformatted my computer, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this Ash Cloud Phoenix. We're gonna reserve it because it's very, very good. Nope, that's not what I want to do. <coughs> in, uh, in duel. Yeah. Okay, that's what I want. Let's go to game settings, in dual settings. Uh, upkeep, hold on a second, let me. I have my settings saved here because I like being thorough. Uh, so it's upkeep, upkeep, draw, main, main. I pretty much have all of the settings on. <coughs> end step, end step. Literally everything but my draw step, so. And I'll let you guys take a gander in one second. Okay, cool. We did it. Okay. And we'll go back to here with our Ash Cloud Phoenix. That is way too small. Watcher? Burn away? I like burn away. Burn away is just solid. Six damage kills everything. Ride down, also good. And it also gives them from Mardu and Jeskai, which is nice. <coughs> yeah, we'll go with we'll go with Ride Down here. Timely Horde made also good. I think Ride Down's a little bit better though. Uh nothing in here is exciting. I might just take the saltwater cliffs because it keeps us open for Jeskai. And it fixes us a little bit. Mardu War Shrieker is actually fine. It doesn't necessarily commit us to another color, but it's also not very exciting. Eh, maybe it's kind of exciting. It's alright. We'll take the Mardu War Shrieker. That's fine. Deflecting Palm, and then also Scoured Barons. <coughs> Let's see how many games we can win with a Deflecting Palm. Also, we still have no reason to uh, commit to a third color here. So There's going to be times where we can get our opponents to three, and then they're going to alpha, and we're just going to be like, hey, buddy, get them. Uh, debilitating injury is probably enough to commit me to black. So we're going to take that. It also goes well with the War Doom Marsh Shrieker. We could raid something, play War Shrieker, and then play Debilitating Injury. So. Mm, Swift Kick? Mm, Swift Kick's fine. Salt Road Patrol, also fine. <clears throat> I'm going to keep taking the removal, though. Swift Kick, good. I feel like I never want to play Ash Cloud Phoenix face down just because it's a. Uh... Like, and then it costs six to flip, so you play it on three, and then you don't get to flip it till six. And there's so many ways that it can die between then. I just wait a turn and play it on four. And then I have to kill it twice. The bird's so nice, you have to kill it twice. Oh, uh, Phoenix, is it a bird? Is it? Is it a bird? I think it's a bird, right? It's like a chicken. It's a beautiful chicken. Mario Hate Blade? Okay. All right, this deck's looking pretty sweet so far. I'm okay with what's going on here. Eh, Caro Bloodsucker is all right. I mean, like, <coughs> you can tell it's a Soul Tie card because it relies on big bottoms, big backsides, but um, it's still a two-two for three that has a, an ability that's not irrelevant. Trumpet Blast, take Defiant Strike. Yeah, Race is fine. Stubborn is fine. In case we are Jeskai, I don't think we're going to be Jeskai. We have three. Technically three three Mardu cards. Mardu Hate Blade's kind of not playable if you're not splashing for black, so.
thousand wins. Oh god, that might be worth taking over everything else. War name aspirants good. Bloodfell caves is very good. Thousand wins, boy. <coughs> Phoenix. In terms of stream memes, Phoenix is a chicken. But I don't know if it's a like. It's got to be a bird in real life too, right? A Phoenix. It's either Thousand Winds or War Name Aspirant or Bloodfell Caves. <coughs> War Name Aspirant. I'm just going to take this. I think it's just too good to... Oh, God. Is it though? Do I just waste these three? This is not really a pick. I don't really care about that. Debilitating injury. Um, God, Thousand Wings is just too good. It's just too good. Jeskai Charm? And another ride down? Uh, yeah, Jeskai Charm is pretty bonkers. Alright, so I guess we're just going to try to be white then. Hi, Spire Mantis. There's so many four drops here. I mean, we could also take Killshot or Ifrit Weapon Master as well. I think High Spire Mantis is better. <clears throat> I think our odds of getting the other two. I'm going to take this Saltwater Cl Swiftwater Cliffs right now. Post haste. Ooh, I like Hordling Outburst. Hordling Outburst is great because it's a spell for your, your prowess things. <clears throat> uh, Ponyback Brigade not terrible if we can play Mardu Warshire we have three so if, if we play this guy on six we could actually flip this is that better than Scaldkin? I don't know Scaldkin's kind of unimpressive I'll take the pony back. Even as a three drop, it's fine. And we still could not be playing blue. I don't know. Snowhorn Rider, not the uh, not the morph we're looking for. Also Glacial Stalker, which is like a bad Snowhorn Rider because it, it flips into a 4-4 four, four instead of a 4-5. It doesn't have Trample, but still pretty decent. Still not terrible. Is 4-color viable? Yeah, but it's not the best. Like, you have to have enough lands, and we have one right now, so it's not, like, super great. I'm more excited and then I should be for the 100 double nations I haven't even seen that I am unaware of of said movie singing bell strike is actually not terrible removal like it gets rid of a guy for a while I mean they're gonna have to pay six every time they want to untap that dude leaping master also fine 
Eh, Summit Prowler's unimpressive. Jeskai Student? Is it better than Bloodfire Mentor or Prowler? Probably. <clears throat> Island. Dragon style twins? I mean, that's fine. That's pretty good. Yeah, we'll take that. There's, this pack is not even that good. I like Mystic of the Hidden Way, but we're not going to take a Mystic of the Hidden Way over a Dragon style twins. Absalon Valkyrie. Oh, Monastery. Mystic Monastery seems fantastic here. <laughs> Standard B. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. I am going to put this right over here. Mystic Beat. I don't even know who you are on Facebook. Or Standard Beat, rather. Standard Beat. I was thinking Mystic Monastery. I got my things confused. Another Swiftwater Cliffs. I'll take all the fixing lands I can get. <clears throat> uh, I actually don't even mind playing a Stubborn Denial in the main deck. Hmm. Fender Lamasso is a 5-4 a flyer for 7 mana. It's just not great. It's just another Singing Bell Strike. How many Singing Bell Strikes are too many? <clears throat> I don't think it's too... Ooh, Kill Shot's nice. Uh, yeah, this pack's pretty unexciting. I could see maybe taking a Skullkin, but Kill Shot's pretty sweet. Bloodfell Caves could facilitate some, some splashing. Like a debilitating injury, but that's like the only... Yeah, Singing Bell Strike does even better when you have more prowess, because it's just a spell. I guess Take Up Arms is fine. It's three one ones. <sighs> Nothing else is going to really see play here. This is pack three, though. We do need some fixing. Cancel? It's, it might be worth just having a cancel, to be honest with you. Actually, Weave Fate's not terrible. I can see just putting Weave Fate in and draw two cards. Trigger Prowess. Take up Arms, same thing. It's an instant. Mm, Monastery Flock? It's not exciting, but it is a, it's just a morph we can play. Another Swift Kick? Yeah, alright. Another Swift Kick? Yeah, alright. Probably not playing three swift kicks, but I will play two swift kicks. I'll play Velmasu. Whatever, we need a top end, that's fine. <coughs> I'm not sure this deck is great, but it's got a bunch of good cards in it. We got Pony back in here. Maybe it's just better to have Anok Tracker. I mean, the only way we're flipping this is with a Mardu War Shrieker.
All right, let's make this larger. <clears throat> make these larger. Probably about that. <clears throat> okay, so sorry about the coughing, guys. Scratchy throat for some reason. I would love more two drops. <laughs> we could just play. Oh, that's not. That's a three drop. Yeah. All right. Oh, we need one cut, huh? Like we also have Hordling Outburst and uh, take up arms, so we kind of have like thirteen creatures. We can probably take out Ponyback Brigade. Like, we just have no way to cast it. Uh, so let's actually look up the color distribution. All right, so 7, 8, 9, 10. Probably got a 9. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 4, 5, 6, 7. What is it? 6, 10, 16, 19. So 8 here. And 6 here. Six, seven, eight. So it's eight red, which you definitely have the most of. Three, four, five, six, six, seven. Eight, six, seven? Yeah, that seems good. Random question. Any updates to the Orzhov Kai process deck after they got? No, none. I actually. So, Cam Driven, like, the problem is that, like, I, I play so many decks, so many different decks at any given, like, at any given time that, like, it's hard for me to go back and, like, update decks. Because, like, I would have to have, like, a favorite deck to update, or else I'd be updating, like, all of these decks. And, like,. I just don't have the like the the attention to donate to not to donate to uh I guess um to devote to like updating all these different decks that I've played. I think they're they're great at the time, but I just haven't really. It's hard to take a look back at them and be like, if if I replayed this deck, what would I do? You know. So I can't say I've made any changes to it. Oh my god, Runa Cape, why are you like this? <laughs> Oh, you. Okay. <coughs> okay. I shall play the piano again upon your defeat. <clears throat> uh, yeah, that's fine. We have no white sources. We have nothing before turn five, but I think we're good. Yeah, Cam Draven. One, I did like that deck a lot. That deck was a lot of fun. The uh, the Kaya processor list in modern. So I think if you're definitely looking for something uh, that is not your typical modern fare, that's a great choice. <clears throat> Do I even see Bell Strike this guy? Oh, we have nothing going on. It's probably tempting. Like we're just gonna take a lot of damage, and we have no way to deal with it in the in the interim. So like, <clears throat> like if they play another big guy, we're gonna be trying to burn that away. Yeah, that's fine. It's two five. Can't do much about that. Well, that's pretty good. All right, so now we got something going on next turn. Next turn we have something going on. Then the turn after that we have something going on. Then the turn after that we got something going on, so. Things are happening.
<clears throat> I feel like everything was kind of good back in Con Standard. Like you were just you were just playing three colors and then splashing for something else. Like you would play Abzan with like crackling dooms and like you would play uh Jace Friends Prodigies in your in your Mardu decks. <clears throat> or was it a Jeskai deck with Crackling Doom splashed? <clears throat> I don't know. What's the hold up here, Badger Mage? How's the Legacy White Prison Brew deck? Like I said, like I just said to, to Cam Draven, actually, I haven't been able to, like, I haven't played it much. It's because it's hard to, it's hard to pick up decks and then just pick one and, like, play that one. Like, so I haven't actually played it again since that, since that, since those matches, but it's another deck I loved, so. <laughs> yep, just another deck I loved. <clears throat> Four cards in hand, huh? <laughs> well then, don't be a Sagu Mauler. It's going to be an abomination of good duel. No flip, huh? Interesting. Okay, well, that's a lot of things. Well, that's too bad. <clears throat> they can still flip this guy, depending on what it is. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, but have a two. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. <clears throat> Even with your new name change and all. All right, so oh, seven mana is rough because we can only do so many things. High spire mana doesn't really block anything favorably, so I think we just keep up either untap or burn away or even take up arms. They're definitely outclassing us on the ground. Interesting. Okay, well, <clears throat> do we just take up arms here? Maybe we should have untapped. I don't know. Probably because then we can play eight. Then we can un actually we can still do both, so that's okay. Yeah, we got we got the mana. Wonder if we'd ever get in there. I wonder. I wonder what our our moment is for getting in there. We're gonna untap their. Oh, they didn't untap their guy. Okay. Well, 
Wow, one hooting mandrels? <clears throat> Seems good. Seems good. That's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> I have no idea. Yep. Mm, yep. 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 Wow. <laughs> Well, okay then. I mean, this is not terrible trading to <clears throat> oh oh boy man that's good you don't lose a life you just draw a card yikes all right well that's pretty good i mean they really wanted to kill this it's we basically tried to sing bell strike and um two hooting mandrels for a dragon style and a burning away But they also drew two cards, so. Well, that's obnoxious. But I guess we have... Uh, Swift Kick doesn't even do much against it because it's a... Uh, yeah, that's hard to deal with. I mean, we can draw like thousand wins. We can draw weave, weave fate. That's pretty good. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna hold this for an actually it's I don't know if I even do want to hold this. Yeah, Ashcloud Phoenix is bonkers. Um the reason being that we could draw Tormenting Voice. <clears throat> but for every future turn, if we draw a tenth land, we get to keep up Swift Kick and flip this as soon as it's killed. So we could also play Swift Kick, use this to kill the Scavenger, and then flip it in the same turn. Ice Feather Aven. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Oh, 
think we just take three here. I'm fine with that. We can go to 13, replay Feeny Boy. And then we can play this, so now they have to have, like, three spells to actually kill the phoenix. I don't even think that works, actually. They kill it, we flip it in response to a removal, it dies again. Then if, yeah, I guess they have to kill it in the same turn. Is this another Ice Feather Raven? No, they're just going to untap that guy. Okay. Yeah, this format's great. They also have nine cards in their deck, which or eight cards, which could definitely be relevant. You got it. <coughs> Where's the sky vigilance? But then I'm thinking that's just Mantis Rider. That's just a different Mantis. So now I actually might just hold this because um even Thousand Winds is like 7 to flip, I think, and 3 to f put face down. At the most, so that's 10. We really don't need the, men the, the monastery, men the Mystic Monastery, but if we draw Tormenting Voice, then we have a card to discard for it, so. Yeah, I'm just going to pass here. Pearl Lake Ancient. <laughs> wow. Does that have Island Walk? No, it just can't be countered. Sure. Yeah, that's amazing. <coughs> Why does that have Prowess? That's such a weird card to have Prowess. Mystic Monster Mentor Mantis. Swift Spear. And we're just going to put a bunch of dudes in front of the Pearl Lake Ancient here. Okay, I don't know what this is. <coughs> okay, so six, seven, four. This feels okay. Because they're going to flip this up, right? I have to assume. Ruthless Ripper. No. Yeah, we'll take two. So we're also taking three here. Which almost makes me want to actually trade these two. One, two, three, four. Oh god, the Harrow Specs. The Harrow Specs might just kill them. I mean, we're hoping. Tormenting Voice, Thousand Winds, lots of cards are good. That's not one of them, unfortunately, but that's okay. <coughs> we have lots of blockers. One ones block two fives pretty well, or one ones block one ones rather.
Oh wow. That's aggressive. Uh, let's block, I guess. Block you. Block you. Block you. And block you. <coughs> um, hmm, is that right? We have four cards left. Can we kill like four things? Is this one over another creature? Yeah, we'll just. So we're taking five. Yeah, we just want to block here. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. What are you going to be? Okay. Well, that's that's rough. That's real rough. That's even worse. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 12, 13 lands, huh? <clears throat> to 9 cards. 10 cards? Yep, that's bad. So we're at 5. We can go block, block. We take exactly 5. Yep, that's rough. They can even untap their guy. God, so close. Maybe not flipping this was correct. <clears throat> yep, that'll do. All right. <laughs> Blinding spray into dead drop. Seems good. I want to bring in this cancel actually. This game seems like it's going to go long. Take out a swift kick. Wow is right. Wow is right. Ugh, oh, God. This hand's not great, but I'll keep it. <clears throat> it's got all the colors you could want. Enjoy playing your treasure cruise as well. It's the only it's the only format that's legal in, so <sighs> What did we see last game? Curve Spell Snatcher. <coughs> you know what? I'll block this. You got four? Sure. Oh, oh wow, that was great. I was not expecting to actually hit a Curve Spell Snatcher. That's fantastic. <coughs> I wish I could stop coughing, guys. I'm really sorry. Sammy, what's going on, buddy? Oh, we opened some decent stuff. We are almost at... S Interesting. A dutiful just for a spell snatcher. Well, we have nothing to do here. So next turn we can actually go attack. This guy's four...
I want to be able to at least try to take advantage of the raid here. I might just burn this away too, actually. What does Kira Spell Snatcher cost to flip? I wish I, I wish I could actually click on these cards and have them show up. Like I wish I could open the preview pane and be like, click on this. Because they're clickable. They they're a different color. But it just doesn't show up over here. Island, nothing. So now I have to go look up Karu. Six. Okay, that's what I thought. Lycos, what's going on? Um, all right, we could actually go Mardu Warshaker and burn this away. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> yeah, I kind of like that. I just don't want them flipping Kara Spell Snatcher because it's very, very good. And then we can play <clears throat> Lamasu next turn. <clears throat> Lycos, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it, man. Welcome, welcome. All right, so they played another Morphe boy. Let's get in there. Four mana should not be enough to flip most things. <clears throat> and I can just play Lamasu. Or, oh, it's Ruthless Rippy. Kintry Invocation, huh? Okay. This is fine. This is just... This is just fine, because this dude's big. down. Double bell strike, huh? Welp. While the cons drafts? Yeah, I think cons is one of the best limited formats possible. Um, I guess we're just going to pass and untap. Block with Lamasu. Man, singing bell strike times two. They have no cards in hand? It's actually pretty good. Yeah, this is just a regular draft. This is just a regular cons of Tarkir draft. They're just fun. They're just it's just a fun format with lots of different options and things to play and interaction and Don't be a soul thigh soothsayer. That card's very good. All right, well, <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like, we're at a position where we want to keep untapping these guys and also playing things, so. 
unfortunately, or fortunately, I guess, this Lamasu almost has Vigilance right now. Like, we can attack for five every turn, but then also keep them, uh, keep them at bay because we can just untap it. So it's almost like, th it's weird because Singing Bell Strike in the late game is almost like a, this is another reason why Khans is so great, because all these cards have multiple applications, right? Like, <clears throat> Singing Bell Strike in the late game, you can put on your own guy and give them almost Vigilance. Uh, I'm just going to take three here. I would kill shot, but I think our removing our clock of five damage a turn to not take three is just worse. Scout the borders. Ooh, Ice Feather Raven's good. You can, but then, like, then you lose the singing bell strike, so. Pearl like Ancient, too. What is it? Uh, oh, put a, oh, you put a land. Put a creature or a land card from among the real time card. Oh, you're putting it from your hand in the graveyard, sure. So what did they put? Uh, Pearl like Ancient. Sure, that makes total sense. And it costs seven, so they can't play it yet. <clears throat> well, it doesn't have reach, so that's whatever. I almost want to just Hordling Outburst and Weave Fate here. Because I... We can actually untap it on our turn, too, and just put them to... Or we could have actually tried to kill them and untap both of these. That actually would have been good, too, because we know they only have this and one other card in hand. <clears throat> However, depending on how they attack, we might be able to still do that with the goblins, so... Yeah, it's like three. Yeah, because they can block two goblins, so one goblin gets through, we can ride down on, like, Pearl Lake Ancient. Oh, interesting. <clears throat> this guy doesn't have Death Touch. I thought this guy had Death Touch for some reason. Oh, a thousand wins. You're, you're fascinating. So we can go... Land... Two, three, four... Five, six. And we know they have Pearl Lake Ancient, which they can cast, but they kind of have to block here. Oh, we can actually ride down here, which sounds amazing. It doesn't have. Oh, it has, does have Flash. Sure. I'm actually, just going to play this guy. We know they just have Pearl Lake Ancient, so they're going to play Pearl Lake Ancient. But we get to untap and flip this dude. And it does cost seven, so I was right about that. I feel like Ride Down should be able to take this game. One, two, three, four, five. Untap. Let's keep on, keep on getting in there with the Lamasu. <coughs> Let's try to Ride Down. Destroy a blocking creature. All right, we'll choose this guy. I guess we'll have to make it red. It's only game. This is only match one. Jeez. I kind of want to race here. <laughs> I mean, they have double singing bell strike.
This is actually, Tormenting Voice is a great draw there, because now we can discard one of these <coughs> more expensive spells. Gamma Set, what's going on, buddy? Oh, I see. Well, then that's pretty good. I actually... Do we Tormenting Voice here? I don't think so. We have like, we have a three drop. Yeah, I think we can wait. None of these cards I really want to discard. There's three removal spells. Two things we can play. The only thing we're hoping we hit is lands here, so... Yep, and we are doing well on that front. <clears throat> Singing bells. Are you listening? Casting Scaldkins. And we're listening. <coughs> Zoo do do do. La da da da. Thank you. Undrum Tuna, thank you so much for the reso. Wow, much months sub subscribe. Wow, seventeen months—that's almost two years, buddy. Really appreciate you. You are great. Um. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna block. I'll take it. Ruthless Ripper. Dang it. Oh, Grim Harrow specs. Fascinating. 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 Okay, see, this is this is the point where I kind of want to... <coughs> we can Tormenting Voice, we can get rid of... <coughs> Actually, do we just erase this, maybe? Maybe. Let's Tormenting Voice discard. Um, We want to hit land drops here, guys. Uh, I like Ride now, I like Burn Away. Swift Kick's probably the worst. We did not hit a land drop. It's unfortunate. We can erase this, though. Also, I just finished Demon Slayer today, and holy crap, my life has changed. I still don't even know what that is other than, like, a game. Which I guess is what it is, so. Grim Harris picks out costing one to morph is pretty good. See, now we can start attacking. <coughs> oh, I see. Well... Hmm. Huh. Let's just charm this guy. Semi charm kind of life. It's the most wholesome anime ever. Wait, what was that? Wasn't there a game you were playing recently that was like super complicated? Is that different? Oh my god, mono bell strikes dot deck. Maybe we can just attack here with this guy. They're missing a six land, which is great. But the thing is we also want to kill shot this uh this Grim Harrow specs. Semi jump con life. Wow, you're throttling this guy? That's so sad. Hollow Knight, there we go. There we go. <clears throat> well, now they have mana for their Sultai Slayer. Sultai Delver. Sultai Bird. Chicken. <laughs> See how you like it. <clears throat> so we know one of their cards is the is the bird. Uh oh. We 
we're just missing things. I looked up his land for his hand size. They have one card. Uh, we know it's the bird. The Sultai bird. Sultai bird. Oh, we just burn this away. But then we gotta deal with the bird. I guess we have Bell Strike for the bird. If this is a Spell Snatcher, I'm gonna feel real dumb, though. Oh, man. This is rough. We don't have enough... It's just a lot of, this is a sizable amount of things. Bug, it's the bug bird, yeah. <laughs> it is the bug bird. Hey guys. As a big bird voice wasn't good. I'm just gonna stop now. Alright, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do one of these jobbies. I didn't do anything, so it's definitely Kara Spell Snatcher. <clears throat> so that's good. Not for us, per se, but, you know. Now, if they untap something, we're going to kill this guy. For sure. Got him. It was a Kara Spell Snatcher. Unfortunately, he still does have a 5 5 that we have to deal with, but we also have 5 minutes on the clock with our 7, so. My wife decided to watch Jurassic Park with her two-year-old son. Now, if you ask him what dinosaurs eat, he says people. <laughs> now, the thing to remember is that you're still alive when they begin to eat you. Oh, boy. Yeah, we're basically dead here. Yep. <clears throat> I mean, we could jump block, but it doesn't it doesn't do us anything. Like, and then we're gonna draw mountain into high spire mantis. This is a hard card to deal with unless they they trick we trick them into blocking. I think our deck's good. I think they just had a lot of big things that we couldn't really deal with. This sounds great. Were you singing Sultai Charm kind of <laughs> Sultai, Sultai Charm kind of life? Oh, baby, maybe I want something else. I'm not listening when you say Sultai. I believe in the Sultai every day. I've got assassin's trophies and abrupt decay. Oh, right, oh, it'll make me go. When I try to, I feel like I could die, and that would be all right. I 
All right. <clears throat> I can play the piano again. Rudy Cave, good games, buddy. Good games. You just had too many fat boys Thank against you. me. Gamma said, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. You guys are great. Great. <clears throat> I'm a fan of all of you. All right, so we're just gonna gonna get in there. The kids I watched were all watching the Cowboys versus Eagles from last year the other day, and the youngest said, Duval, I told him the Jags aren't playing, so he can't say that. He asked what to say. I said, for the Eagles, fly, Eagles fly. For the Cowboys, I'm not sure. The older one looks up from his tablet and says, Cowboys say yeehaw, so that's what they... <laughs> He's right. <coughs> it's true. <clears throat> All right, let's get in there and see what happens. Fascinating. I guess we're just drawing two here. Is it going to be... Oh, God, it's... Oh, that's fine. Nothing gained, nothing lost. Ooh, that's a that's a nice one. Or we have no <clears throat> We have no fifth land, unfortunate. I almost I was hoping if you blocked I felt like we might have had a chance, but like we just had no way to deal with the six seven, so me chump blocking for a turn doesn't really put us in a better position. If you know what I mean. Let's cast this guy. And hope that's a thing. <clears throat> Unfortunately, this guy blocks this guy. But we could always burn this idiot away. Monkey. All right. So many morphs. This is four morph creatures. Jeez. Oh, Mystic, um, Mystic of the Hidden Way. I got you. I got you. I got your number. Okay. Um, <clears throat> wish this came into play untapped then we can play two things actually i think we're still playing two things we're gonna put this on you we're gonna play this gain the life play you face down and get in there unfortunately the one four is pretty good at blocking our two four prowess boy This town ain't big enough for the two of us. Wow. Unfortunately, they just untapped this once and they're like, oh, I gotta block her forever now. I didn't even think about that, to be honest with you. <clears throat> I'm sure you've answered it many times. What software do you use for recording videos? Uh, OBS. OBS Studio. Yep. Okay, so if they're just gonna if they're just gonna jump, we're gonna add the board. Hey, Saru. Happy Chicken Sunday, buddy. <clears throat> happy Chicken Sunday. That's every day, you know. Every day is chicken. I'm just going to attack with the Flyers. They have way too many ground blockers for me to get in there with this guy right now. Only two cards in hand. No second blue, so I don't have to worry about a carry Spell Snatcher again. Guess we'll just play two more Flyers. Guess we'll add a red to play this guy. Oof. That's a big boy. This is where Hordling Outburst comes in. Oh, I guess we just win. I was like, this is where Hordling Outburst comes in a, into play because then we can just kill it. 
I do kind of like cancel. I don't think we need it though. Nothing they had was like super aggressive or broken. Uh, this seems fine. Yeah, when I'm streaming, they also have a start record button, so I start the re the recording <clears throat> while I'm streaming, and then when I'm done with the recording, I'll end the recording while still streaming. So, or you, you don't even have to stream to do it; you can just record, uh, you know, whatever you set your set your thing to. Fan glorious, what's going on? <clears throat> Oh, nope, just want to attack here. Uh, I don't want to work. I just want to attack your face all day. <coughs> we need an island here. Island would be great. Did you say swift water cliffs? Here you go. Okay. Oh, no attack. Yeah, that's actually fine. Yeah, Facebook's not great at telling people. I think we're just gonna take up arms. Do, 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 do. All right, well, that's good. I would like a blue source, preferably one that does not come into play tapped. That would be ideal. Trail of mysteries. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> Oh, my God, I forgot to take up arms. Dang it, I'm so bad at this game. Oh, wow, that was such a big game. Steel's Island? How can we do that? I don't even think you can do that. I'm no Magic the Gathering expert, but that seems like it's Im impossible. What is this morph doing? Just hanging out? I forgot it again. Is it a Kara Spell Snatcher? Do just do back to back opponents have Kara Spell Snatchers? I'm actually tempted to not do it because it it's like to not flip Oh it could just it could just really locks it on too. Yeah, we'll just take up arms next turn. We have no double blue for like Thousand Winds is a two two. And at this point, take up arms is just better than Thousand Winds. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming it's Willy Locks it on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, they didn't flip last turn, so I have no idea what's going on. Good lord. I'll take it. <laughs> I, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's just, just a Sidisi's pet. Well, that's fascinating. Yep, you can have that. Search for a land. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> I think actually attacking with everything here is just fine. Like, they're low enough light total where they block here, they take three, four, five, six, seven, they go to five. Yeah, they're just going to trade. That seems good for us. Uh, Sidisi's pet 1 4. We're going to swift kick this guy. Yeah, that's pretty good. This should be game. I mean, I'm no expert, but, <clears throat> you know. Well, that was good. Dune Blast is like one of the few cards that's probably going to get you out of that situation. So, <clears throat> I 
And they just keep drawing landy boys. Island? Blue source? Nothing? Okay. Well, get them there for five, I guess. Yeah, I just got to keep killing. Okay, well, there we go. All right, two down. Oh, yes, this hand is good. <clears throat> All right, I will keep this. Deflecting palm. Do, 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 do. I'm going to actually do this because I want to have a thing to play. Well, we did not get a thing to play, but I think discarding a swift kick for Ash Cloud and Venerable Lamassu is fine. Alright, so again, I don't want to really play this face down. It's just not good. I'll rather just get a. We'll wait for a red source. We're probably going to get one. We'll get one soon. A Freet Weapon Master. Sounds good. Red Source. Thousand wins? That's fine. I'm okay with it. Hi, Spire Mantis. Well, attacking is not an option. <clears throat> Get that dude out of my face. This guy attacks for seven if you... Oh, it's another target creature. He can never buff himself. Oh, Mystic of the Hidden Way. Mystic of the Hidden Way. I'm going to play that guy face down. Because, again, I still... Even if I hit the, the sixth mana next turn, I'd rather just play this guy face up. So... Whereas Thousand Winds, we always want to flip it, so. Ooh, ooh-wee. I kind of just want to six them here. Yeah, that seems real good. Uh, let's get in there with this guy. Yeah, that was a nice tempo swing. Yeah, I'll just take it. If we draw any land, we get to flip this and bounce both these guys. We can go to 14. We also have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 damage here, so... You got it. Uh, it's not a land to flip up a thousand wins, unfortunately, but it's still fine. Just block here. Do we think they have two spells? Lycos, have a good afternoon, buddy. Have to have a good night, have a good weekend, what have you. Oh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we're going to take up arms, and when they're at six, that feels good. I got Nifty Chris sending me text messages from uh, from Seattle. He's like, I might have stopped at the Lego store. 
tonight I'm having Frosted Flakes. They're just okay. Pretty average, I'd say. Let's see if this guy does a thing. I'll counter it. Oh, he just weaves win the game. Well, that would have been a good land for, for this guy if it didn't come in. Like, we have two things that cost seven and we draw the land that comes in play tapped. <coughs> Just killed a good portion of Italian beef pizza. I don't even know what that is. Italian beef. I gotta go to the bathroom, man. Can I go to the bathroom when you guys just wait here for a second? I'm gonna BRB this guy and be like, I'll be right back. I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll let them play their turn, though. I will also mulligan. I will keep this, though. I will keep. And we'll put one mountain back. Done. Uh, BRB. I'll have six here because it's their turn. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Oh. Well, all right. <laughs> Okie dokie. What happened? Did our... Where did our... 
Uh, they mulligan to four. All right. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on mandatraders.com, coolstuffinc.com, patreon.com, twitch.tv slash franklapore. All the links are in the description below, and uh, I guess we'll see you next time. Thanks.